Hello, welcome back to Blow Harvest Toys Christmas Countdown, day number 15. Yeah, we're getting on, aren't we? So let's open Back to the Future Advent Calendar, day number 15, day number 15, let's see what we have here. Look at what we have here. Get it out. Ooh. Oh, very nice. I don't believe it's for this part of the diorama, so uh, let's just see what we have. Oh, it's the camera. It's the camera. So we do have to put these, the tripod together. I think that just clicks in there. And that one in there for the tripod and then you put your camera on top um, so you need a cameraman <laughs> but that's a nice little extra the diorama for the 1885 Hill Valley nice maybe you can just use one of the extra characters for that that would be pretty cool there we go there's day number 15 done let's move on to the marvel advent calendar back in two minutes counting down the top 24 toys and gifts that you wanted in your stocking at christmas we're now into the top 10 so you can be sure that from now on there are important toys so at number 10 we're going with transformers now I'll be honest with you, I didn't have any Transformers growing up. By the time they came out, I was at the end of my Star Wars collecting, buying, and probably felt too old to be starting a new line. The other factor was the price point of the Transformers. Yes, they've always been quite expensive, and rightly so. These are the kind of toys we'd never seen before. Nothing has ever been designed as well as these. And there are a lot of toys and cartoons that burst into the scene in the 1980s, but this stood above the rest. The Toy Line and Cartoon series started in 1984 and was produced by Hasbro and became one of the best selling toys of all time. Although it was not an original idea, the origins start with the Dry Clone Toy Line made by Takara Toys launched in 1980. It was a line of toys that included transforming vehicles and robots that were piloted by miniature figures that came with the Micro Man Toy Line. And in 1982 they put out a line of car robots that also could transform. Hasbro either too lazy to come up with something or just seeing the huge potential licensed the car robot toy line along with the micro man line from Takara. They would combine both together to create the Transformers. Many of the Autobot versions of the Transformers came straight from the car robot line. A lot of future Transformers already existed in the Takara toy line including Dinobots, Insectoids, Decepticon planes and the Constructors. Hasbro executives would go to the Tokyo Toy Show in 1983 on the lookout for some new toys that could import to North America. They would buy the rights and moulds to all 28 figures in the Diaclone line. Hasbro then gave them a backstory, a cartoon series and a high price point to lead to you getting these under the tree at Christmas. So here we are at day number 15 of the LEGO Marvel Advent Calendar. Let's open and see what we have. Oh, we've got a minifigure. We've got a minifigure. Yes. If it'll come out. I don't want to come out. Oh, we've got Captain Marvel. We do have Captain Marvel. Very nice. I like to have a bit of Captain Marvel. So, quick one. Um, I'll have the smiley face on, I think. That is a really nice figure, actually. I like that. Pretty cool. And uh, she's got the... Whatever those are. <laughs> I don't understand. I don't know what those are. I know the, the, the fighty effects. But, uh, yeah, not too bad. Pretty cool. So, yeah, for day number 15. Thank you for watching. Join me tomorrow for day number 16.